The Light Sport and Ultra Light Flyer would like to thank BRS Parachutes for providing air transportation to and from Aero. We would also like to thank ICP North America for supplying our accommodations at the show and Renegade Light Sport aircraft for transportation and meals during the show. We're here at Aero, the grand light show of Europe for light aircraft. And this video is being brought to you by BRS Parachutes. Thank you to BRS for helping us out with these videos. We're going to look at a few airplanes here at Aero that you just don't see in the USA. Well, yet anyway, but you might because they're really interesting aircraft. This one is from the Aero uh, company. That's a I R O company. And this one's called the Skylane, but it's not the Cessna Skylane. This is an all-composite aircraft powered by the Rotax, and it uses the 80 horsepower model that a lot of folks like. And it also has a yoke inside the cockpit. This one says pretty speedy airplane. It can do 310 kilometers. That's uh, somewhere around 150 miles an hour. It's probably because it has a variable pitch prop on it, something that we're not allowed to have in the USA under the ASTM standards and the LSA class, but they are able to have it in Europe. So some of these airplanes can go a little faster. They have to get a little higher pilot's license to fly those airplanes. Nonetheless, they look pretty good here, don't you think? So for someone that might be interested in lining up this company to come into the USA and bring a handsome little Skylane to us, you can go to aeroaviation.de. That's A-I-R-O aviation.de. Look at another one here, also still in the Aero Aviation booth space. Uh, they're representing that Skylane we just looked at, but they're also representing this handsome little Lombada. Now we know the Lombada in the USA. It used to come in under the Urban Air brand and Urban Air USA. Urban Air ran into whatever kind of problems, and they're not in business anymore, but Iro took it over. It's the same airplane we saw before. This is a motor glider with some of those beautiful compound curved leading edge and wings that we like so much. If you're in the sailplane or motor glider space, this is a handsome choice for you. You can get more information on their same website, which is iroaviation.de. That's A-I-R-O aviation.de. And I've got information about it on bydanjohnson.com as well from the same company that makes the Lombada aircraft that we just looked at, the motor glider, there's another version called the Samba XXL. It's got some of that same gorgeous leading edge on it and the beautiful Fowler uh, double section flaps to it. Handsome construction typical of Eastern European where there's so many sailplanes done with such lovely composite work. This one, however, is more of a cruiser. The wing is much shorter. This airplane is going to go a lot faster. They do have U.S. representation now. They lost it for a while, but they're back. And uh, they are at um, airusa.us. So pretty easy. A-I-R-U-S-A.us. And you can find more about this on bydanjohnson.com. Just look on the SLSA list and you'll find Lombada and Samba. Here at Aero, there is a lot of coverage and a lot of exhibition of gyros. They're huge in Europe. In the USA, our FAA just can't seem to make up their mind about what they want to do with special light sport aircraft gyros, which were included in the rule, but the FAA has never been able to get around to approving them. So there are no fully built gyros in the United States. There are in Europe. In fact, there's a lot of them. If we look around the grounds here, uh, we're right now in the auto gyro space, but there's a lot of companies that have them here. Uh, the beautiful Kalidas. We looked at this in the United States. Here's the MT, MTO Sport, and they've got other models here as well. This is one of the few. Uh, this is a tandem here. They also have side-by-side -side gyros. Here's a fact that's interesting. Gyros are selling, selling so well in the European theater that they are buying more Rotax in, engines than any other single aircraft type, we're told. Uh, I don't have actual, absolute information on that, but the point is they are going great here. And look at these things. They're beautiful. Here's one that even has spray equipment on it. So for those that want to do some agricultural flying with a gyrocopter, you can do it. We're told these things fly like airplanes, not like helicopters. What's not to like? You can find this particular one. This is the Auto Gyro brand, and they are auto-gyro.com in the USA. I've got information about them on bydanjohnson.com. We're in the Aero Spool Space. Now these are the guys behind the Dynamic, which we know as the WT9 Dynamic. That's, that's a two-seater. It's qualified as a light sport aircraft, a special light sport aircraft. Unfortunately, right now, it kind of lacks U.S. representation. That may change. 
And here we've got one they've labeled the turbo tow. And the reason why they've done that is this mechanism right down here, which is a mechanism for towing a sailplane. Oh, I guess you could tow a hang glider too, but commonly these are used to tow sailplanes in Europe, where sailplanes are huge here. And the cost of running something like a uh, Piper Pawnee is very expensive with ab gas at $14 a gallon. Think about that fact when you buy gas at, uh, in the USA for about 5 or $6 a gallon. The tow mechanism here allows them to tow up a glider, and this aircraft will do that. It's got the power to do it. It saves them a lot of money. So WT-9 and their new four-seater, the WT-10, uh, and this turbo tow model, all from the Aero School Company. We've got information on the WT-9 Dynamic, the two-seater that's got SLSA approval. You can find that on bydanjohnson.com. You can find more information out about Aero Spool at aerospool.sk, that's Slovakia. Aerospool, S P O O L dot S K. More things here at Aero, more aircraft here at Aero that we don't normally see. We're looking right here at the Junior from Echo Lot. We've seen the Junior, but it's been some years since we saw it in the USA. That's because the US importer is focused on the Topaz we see over here to our left. So let's go have a look at this real quick. The Topaz from Echo Lot is represented in the United States and it has special light sport aircraft approval. You can get more information about this airplane from their U.S. distributor, which is niu-g.com. This is a very handsome little airplane inside. We've taken a look at it before. You can find that information on mydanjohnson.com. Breezer aircraft. Uh, they're out of northern Germany, and uh, they're exhibiting their products that we've seen in the USA before with the sliding glass cockpit. We like that a lot. And uh, this company is having a good range of success in an all-metal airplane. One of the things that we're standing on here is this interesting flooring, but it's not really flooring. This is meant to go on the ground and grass grows up through those holes. In fact, the home field of Breezer Aircraft uses this stuff. It makes kind of a combination turf, not turf runway. Very interesting. In fact, this company did so well when they initiated their activities that they had some big shot from government come out and uh, he was being delivered in a corporate airplane. He chose to fly in a Breezer to the next airport. You can get more air information on this company from breezeraircraft.de, that's the German company, DE standing for Deutschland, or you can get it from breezeraircraftusa.com. I've got information about the Breezers, pilot reports and more on mydanjohnson.com. One aircraft you can see at home in the USA that we're looking at here at Aero is the Carbon Cup. These guys are everywhere. In fact, this is a U.S. brand. They're one of the few on display here at Aero. Carbon Cup, uh, we know to be our market leader from last year, sold more airplanes than anybody in the U.S. market. No wonder this thing climbs like a homesick angel. Represented here in the U.S. in the uh, European Union is directsky.eu, standing for European Union. But of course, you can also go to cubcrafters.com and get all the information you need. I've also got plenty on bydanjohnson.com. Continuing our tour here of Aero, in the airplanes you don't see in the USA category is a very handsome ellipse sphere. Look at the beautiful wing design on this. That's where it gets the name ellipsis, I'm sure. Just a lovely construction job, which is very typical of European aircraft where sailplanes are so big and composite technologies are very, very well known. You can see that this airplane is built for speed. That's the whole point of their slogan here, the shape of speed. And you can get more information about the aircraft at ellipse dash spirit dot de or excuse me dot com i don't have anything on this on bydanjohnson.com but i'll be looking for some continuing our tour here of aero thanks to brs parachutes we are looking at some of the interesting aircraft from sky leader company now you may say i don't know sky leader but you do you may know it because it's the kappa the kp5 that we saw several years ago which has us slsa approval this okay. is a little different Look at the windows, uh, cockpit arrangement on this one, dual gull wing doors. Let's go over here and have a look at another variation of it. Now we see an overhead sliding canopy. Uh, this company has got several different variations, one of which is, includes a single place version. And over here to my right is a another aircraft completely, all represented by the Sky Leader Company. Find more about this company at skyleader.aero, A-E-R-O. I've got information about them on bydanjohnson.com. In a minute, first we're looking at the Merlin, powered by the 582. This fits in the Microlight or Ultralight class in Europe, different than our U.S. Ultralight. 
and this thing I'm thinking is going to climb amazingly fast with this big engine in a single place. Get this single place airplane. But now let's go look at another one that I think you're going to find even more interesting in some ways. So we were just looking at the Merlin. This one is the Merlin Micro. Why is it called that? Because there's a whole new class coming out here in Europe called the basically 120 kilogram class. 120 kilograms is about 260 pounds. It's very similar to our ultralight part 103 class. It's a single seater, much smaller engine than we saw on this aircraft, but it's got to be, in order to stay within that very tight weight, about, about 260 pounds, and that does not include a parachute, which is required here in Germany. So they have to allow for those extra weights. So 120 class, this is a new thing. In fact, they are going through some ASTM processes now to make the process easier, but it's going to be European-wide, and this is going to create some new aircraft of interest, I think, in the United States. Currently, you can't buy this airplane in the USA, but someday you might be able to. Meanwhile, find more information from techproaviation.com. I do have some information on the older and original Merlin model on bydanjohnson.com. And thanks for joining us here on our quick tour of Arrow. Y pasa saludando al trébol, colgando del asiento. Arriba va Dino Bolivia en negativo. A caída de... A la... Ahí la vuelta. Salida en negativo. Está colgando del cinturón de seguridad. Para caída balístico, Dino. Para caída balístico. Nadie se mueva del lugar, por favor. Nadie se mueva del lugar. Bajamos la música. Hemos tenido una emergencia en la aeronave. Todo el mundo queda en su lugar tranquilamente, lo van a ir a atender. Miren qué bárbaro que estuvo lo del paracaídas balístico. Rápidamente, bomberos, por favor, atentos en caso de que haya algún incendio. Nadie ingresa al predio. Con mucha calma, todo el mundo se queda muy tranquilo en el lugar. Por favor, todo el mundo muy tranquilo en el lugar. Bomberos, ambulancias se van a ir arrimando con mucha calma. No debemos tener ningún otro accidente. No ha pasado absolutamente nada. Tranquilo, Cecilia, que es la prima ahí, Luquita, que la está asistiendo. Todo el mundo muy tranquilo. Estamos con total seguridad. Dino está fuera de la aeronave. Un poco impotente se debe sentir seguramente.